I'm Fareed Zakaria. I am the editor of Newsweek International, and I write a column for Newsweek and Newsweek International. I'm going to talk a little bit about education, about the state of American education. Uh, it's actually not as bad as you might think. But let's start by pointing out that America dominates the world in one area of education that is, in some ways, the most important area, and that is higher education. American universities are, without any question, the best in the world. If you look at the various rankings of universities, um, the top 20, uh, 18 are American. Uh, the top 50, 32 are American. Um, if you look at the places that people want to go to uh, to do the most advanced research, they're mostly American. If you look at where Nobel Prizes are won, they're mostly American. So that's one area of education the United States does extraordinarily well. What about secondary education, high schools? The United States does very badly uh, in those international tests you've heard about. But a lot of the reason is that American averages are brought down by very low performing inner city public schools. Finally, let's take a look at the overall philosophy of American education, uh, what America teaches, how it teaches it. Uh, most of the world teaches its students how to take tests. American education teaches people how to think, how to solve problems. This is much more useful in the real world. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of American education. Now, there are several deep problems. And the most worrisome part about the, the, the state of American education is our problems are in some ways getting worse or not getting fixed. And the rest of the world is beginning increasingly to copy the best parts of the American system. So the rest of the world is moving closer and closer to the United States as virtues. Meanwhile, we have our vices. We have about a third of our schools that are utterly and totally dysfunctional. Uh, we have funding in the public universities getting so thin and so bad that we are effectively destroying our public universities, which has been one of the crown jewels of American education. Uh, and we have increasingly focused on non-scientific, non-technical education uh, and enhanced uh, all kinds of softer subjects which are less rigorous and frankly less attractive to employers in the workplace. At base, the problem with American education is we have not turned it into the kind of top national priority it needs to be. Uh, we're not focusing on it enough. We're not focusing on the key reforms that need to take place to make the system more flexible. Um, more fast moving, more dynamic, more merit oriented. Uh, we're also not working at it hard enough. There isn't a sense of urgency among uh, education secretaries and, and, and officials, s teachers, or students. I mean, fi the final thing to remember in all this is we want to take it a little easier. Uh, you can solve all the problems in the system uh, and you can get better teachers, but ultimately you need to have a sense of urgency among students that the learning of skills in a globalized world is an absolutely essential part uh, of how we're going to compete. Uh, that sometimes means doing things that are painful in the short term. But in education, as in everything else in life, no pain, no gain. Thank you.